Hey there, Orion Oheb here, and welcome to this week's video. And in this week's video, we're going to be talking about how to create a culture of innovation in the workplace. And this is for you, whether you're an entrepreneur running a small business or a manager or executive in a bigger institution, we are going to talk about factors that go into creating a culture of innovation. One of those being using human design as a powerful tool to create that culture. Speaking of human design, quick reminder, we're giving away the next free human design leadership report session at uh, 3,000 subscribers. So all you gotta do to enter that giveaway and get your chance to win is subscribe and leave a comment. All right, let's dive in. So creating a culture of innovation. First of all, why is this important? This is important because with the advent of AI, AI is going to, for the companies that use it correctly, are going to free up space and time for innovation, for creativity. So while AI is able to reduce the amount of busyness needed to get things done, the definition of success is shifting from productivity to creativity. So creativity being the measurement of success in 2024 and beyond, it's really important to, to create a culture where your team, where you are empowered and emboldened to stand in your unique voice. And when each person is standing in their unique voice, now you can be the ones driving the change and not reacting to it. This requires bravery. This requires letting go of the way things have been done. This requires building your capacity to be at the leading edge, to be on that cliff face of the unknown. And this requires also knowing your natural genius as a leader, because not all leaders will lean into this in the same way. So, whatever your genius, whatever your ability to um, innovate or vision, if you're a visionary genius, or if you're a more networking genius or a more project delivery genius, like a project manager detailed genius, or you're a systems person, there's a place for you to be in innovation. And if you're a leader, you need to understand how each of your team members, natural genius combines into one innovative culture. So that means first understanding how each of your team members accesses their unique creativity. And in order to do that, they, you, it's important to first be able to know where your creativity is and what's in the way of your creativity. So it starts within you, you getting really clear on your unique way of expressing creativity and innovation and how you uniquely use your gifts and talents and then how each of your team members does and then how all of those different ways of communicating and being creative work together to create a healthy tension where an innovative idea that not one of those people could have come up with can emerge. So first step, unraveling the patterns within you that you learned in order to be productive in the information age, because AI is making that skill set less important and less valued. So <clears throat> the cool thing is for the first time in a long time, societal values, the, the marketplace value, the, the, what is gonna create profit is actually unique creativity, not conformity, not the, who can get the most done the quickest. Well, AI takes all that, that over. How are you going to navigate a new world where actually spaciousness is desired, where you're not tempted to give into that old pattern of filling in every moment with busyness and productivity and to be really gentle with yourself, to notice the ways that that does potentially bring up fear in you as a leader, because it's less predictable. It's less concrete measuring success of you and your team and your company based on w what you're predictably able to get done. And more so on how much space can you create to innovate, to fail forward, to take risks that to allow your team to come up with ideas and give them a try and to see which ones work and which ones don't. And to keep that kind of creative startup energy, no matter how big your company or organization gets. And that requires a big capacity in your nervous system to actually stay centered in the unknown and in change. This requires the ability to self-reflect, to be self-aware of the patterns in your nervous system that block you from actually being able to live into that creativity. In human design terms, this is called your not self. This is in, in Chinese medicine, it's called your acquired nature. It's the strategies and tactics and belief systems you learned that have kept you safe and kept you successful 
in the, the productivity-oriented productivity information age and industrial age before that. So now, underneath all those learned patterns, there's a natural way you're designed to move through the world, that you're designed to communicate, to navigate willpower, energy, drive, emotions, expression, as a leader in your career, in your purpose, in your business, and in the marketplace when you're, when you're promoting your services. So when you're inspiring your team, all these different aspects. And the way energy moves through your system is unique. That's why when we look around, every, everyone's so different. That's where introversion and extroversion comes from. In reality, it's how energy actually flows through the body. The energy that animates the body, the energy that gives the lungs the power to breathe and the heart the power to beat. So as a leader, understanding how energy uniquely flows through your body is super important. So unraveling the patterns that you learned in your mind to keep you productive, to allow you to soften and not mm, give in to the anxiety or fear that can happen when there's space, when there's the unknown, when technology is changing so rapidly and the marketplace and the economy is changing so rapidly that you can't rely on one predictable thing anymore, not in itself and to create the space to allow for creativity. And then that creativity is rooted in how you're uniquely designed to express and use your energy. That is where human design comes in. Human design is a really powerful tool to understand the way your unique body communicates to you as a leader. You know, Washington Post said human design is on the way in and at the end of 2023 while Enneagram's on the way out. I still think things like Enneagram are, are important but human design is such a powerful complement that goes deeper than any of those systems because it goes to the root of how your body communicates, not how your mind thinks about things. And what your natural gifts and talents are connected to your body and your physiology. So if you haven't already, go to my website. Uh, it'll be listed right here, orionhef.com slash hdleaders. Get your free leadership report. It's rooted in human design and it'll help you start to take that journey. And then you can start to, once you understand that in yourself, start to use human design to understand your team as well. Because that's the next piece. When you understand what's in the way of you, all the learned patterns that might prevent you from being bold in space, from being bold in rapid change, from staying in your power when things are kind of chaotic and, and amorphous around you, then you tap into what's underneath all those learned patterns, which is your natural creativity and to regulate your, your nervous system when it goes into anxiety or fear, to use your breath to stay present. Then the key is now, can you help your team do the same? Can you help your team bring awareness to their, their nervous system patterns that are blocking them from their creativity, their learned belief systems and uh, reaction patterns, uh, autopilot patterns that keep them perhaps in tension or an infighting or addicted to busyness or afraid they're going to lose their role to AI. And all that fear prevents them from bringing the genius. There's so much untapped genius within you and within your team lying under the surface. If we just remove the resistance from the system and create a space where the reward system is rooted in creativity and rooted in innovation, and you set that example and you create that culture where you help team members understand when they're and notice and speak to without judgment when there's a reaction pattern when there's a derailing of a conversation or when you notice someone is holding their own voice back where you empower them and create space for them to notice their own autopilot reaction patterns of fear or anger or lashing out or blaming or you know departments blaming departments and to create a space for that to be spoken to Noticing what it is, noticing it has nothing to do with the present moment, almost ever. It's a deeper autopilot unconscious pattern to create the space and the non-blaming for a new conversation to happen. Because a lot of the, the success that you and your organization are going to have in this time period where success is now being mapped to creativity isn't going to come from strategy. It's going to come from emergent genius. It's going to come from the untapped genius already on your team. And again, human design is a super powerful tool for that. So this is obviously a very high level view. The top three things, first within yourself, learning and noticing where are your autopilot reaction patterns? Where are you holding back your creativity because of how you've had to navigate a world that demanded you conform and be productive? How can you unravel those patterns? How can you build your capacity to stay centered and in your power as a leader, 
as a marketplace leader, as a team leader in this, in space, in unknown, in rapid change, so that you can access your most creative ideas, but not just alone, with your collaborators, with your peers, with your partners, with your team members, bringing them into the conversation, knowing who more leans into that visionary genius, who leans into that networking marketing genius, who leans into that project delivery detail genius, who leans into that systems operations genius, and letting all those perspectives come together and create a healthy tension, again, where innovation can emerge. And those ideas can be marketed in the most powerful way by the, the team members that have that natural genius. And you can utilize the technological disruptions of things like AI to create this space where people don't have to overwork anymore and can actually relax and be in that creativity that is gonna have you be at the leading edge, driving the change in the world. So hopefully that was super helpful and um, hopefully you got a lot out of this video. So helping yourself unravel the patterns, using a tool like human design to understand your unique creative genius, using human design to help your team and you understand your team's creative genius and then creating that healthy space and culture of communication and self-awareness and self-responsibility for emotional reactions, to not judge them, but to voice them and to notice when they're happening, to stop that momentum and to breathe and create space for innovation. So if this resonated with you, again, subscribe, leave a comment, ask questions. I really wanna hear from you. I wanna hear what it's like in your business, what it's like in your team and subscribe and leave a comment so you get entered into the giveaway to win a human design leadership session so we can dive into the how your body uniquely communicates with you. I can't wait to meet you. I hope I get to and hope to see you in the comments.